is one of the more interesting buildings I've come across. This is right in front of the Chelsea Piers. It just takes a lot of dips and bends and it looks like somebody just took the metal and twisted it. It's really interesting. There's a new building next to it. It's called the IAC, whatever that is. But I have to admit, it's, uh, it really catches your attention. It's a pretty cool looking building. Like I said, I'm just standing across the Chelsea Beach. And this is just across the street, getting a little bit of By the old meat market district. Uh, now they certainly they certainly don't have any uh, meat uh, wholesalers down there. Now it's just ultra expensive, filled with trendy shops, restaurant, clothing stores. Let's see, they're putting up another building there. And get a shot of that. See the people walking there. They created this new pathway called the High Line. It's the old railroad tracks. Well, it goes from about 16th Street, maybe up to 21st Street. I've been on there. It's a really, really nice walk. They maintain some of the old structures, the old tracks, uh, and you get a great view of the city while you're up there. So if you're down here, uh, it would be worth your while to take a trip on the High Line. Okay, so those apartments, that's a hotel actually, the High Line Hotel, uh, which you can walk under uh, over that High Line walkway. And those units over there will probably go in for a million bucks because they'll boast these beautiful views of New Jersey and the water. And that's New Jersey over there. The Hudson River. And that skyline is also constant. That's the front view of that hotel. You know, I guess there still are a few uh, meat, meat businesses in this neighborhood. Uh, not like there used to be, that's for sure, but I think some are still here. And this is the changing view of New Jersey, the skyline. I'm in uh, the Hudson River, on the Hudson River, looking, looking towards New Jersey. Much more concentration of buildings. Mm -hmm. And there's just more coming. I think this is Jersey City. And that's an interesting one there. at Beekman and Park Row and there's quite a wonderful looking building right here on this corner. Actually, it's quite gorgeous. It's like it's been freshly cleaned. A little detail on it. Very ornate. And then right behind it we have this huge, huge building going up. I think this thing is just massive. Uh, I don't know if it reads well on, on video, but in person this thing is at, I, mean, I think it's like 70 stories or something. Uh, my guess apartments, you know, you, you got me here. But uh, it is just in the shadow of Seagull, over to my left. And just another uh, scene of the changing landscape of New York. So you could go down there, approaching the Brooklyn Bridge, Nassau Street, uh, between Fulton and Ann, and another great old building here. And I'd go farther away to get a, a better long view, but the streets are so narrow, this is as far, far away as I can get. Beautiful building, absolutely beautiful. 
here's another old building. It says copiers, facsimile, and typewriter. Typewriter. What's that? in Greenwich. Here's my left. New building here. A lot of glass. This is one. One Jackson Square. And for the longest time, this is just a parking lot. Now it's, you know, a lot of glass, a lot of rolling, kind of fluid lines. Don't make banks like that.